about labeling of these GM crops, yes, uh, it is required by law. We have a regulation that guides us on how these uh, products will be labeled once it is uh, cultivated or released into the market. And the reason for labeling is not for it's not a safety issue as such, but it is for traceability to be able to trace these products in the market just in case there will be any adverse effects and uh, uh, restoration measures are required to be put in place, we are able to trace them and know where they are placed. Secondly, uh, it, the labeling is for consumer choice. It is just to inform the public that this product here is GM and this other is non-GM. So for labeling, that's all. And again, um, the threshold for labeling will be at uh, uh, anything above 1% GM will be labeled. Anything below 1% it will not be labeled. Okay? So labeling will be mandatory? Yes, labeling will be mandatory for GM crops. So you expect in the packets, in the packaging to have a label. Because uh, what I've said is those small people who, who mill, who, who, or who package in small packets, those who are unable to do the... Because remember, uh, labeling comes with a cost. It isn't something that... It comes with a cost. So uh, we do not want to, to really add a, another added cost to that small person down there. And therefore, that's why the, the law will uh, exempt uh, those small traders down there from labeling of GMOs. If, uh, I don't know the, the output of the portion mills, yeah? Because what our law, ins uh, I insist on what the law says is that those uh, small traders there will not be, it will not be mandatory for them to, to, to label. But if they can label, then well and good. But it is not mandatory for them to label. What we are talking about is the big uh, companies that do uh, milling, the big companies that uh, produce uh, uh, maize flour then by law, and uh, they are required to, to, to label. And again, uh, labeling is in the packet. Okay? Then how do you tell that small person there to label an Afuja Nagunia lak and just wants to mill it and go and consume at home, then it is very difficult to tell that person to, 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 to label. But again, remember, uh, labeling is not a safety issue. So even if you consume it, therefore, means you will not be affected. So uh, it isn't a, 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 a really a major issue, but um, it is it's just for choice, but not a safety issue. So even if you consume it, again, your safety is assured.